Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am actually wearing a camisole for those of you who thought I was wearing a bra. <laughs> it did cross my mind too. Please excuse the bare face somewhat like a naked mole rat. I still can't quite believe that I come on here literally with nothing on my face. I have just taken all my makeup off because I am just getting ready to go to Garsington for the opera. Now, the opera is one of my favourite things in the entire world. Something that a lot of people don't actually know about me is that I am a classically trained opera singer. So yeah, a little fun fact about me. And there is Il Barbara de Sevilla opera at Garsington this evening, which is at an estate that's actually not too far away from us. It's about 15 minutes and we are going with our next door neighbours. So it is going to be the most incredible evening. It is full on black tie. The dress code for this evening is actually Mediterranean colours or Mediterranean ball gowns. And I have the most breathtaking gown to wear for this evening. As you can see, the hair is up. I do have my little classic roller in for the front. However, the back is done and we're just going to let this roller out at the very end. And I have about an hour, what well, I wanna say about 45 minutes. <laughs> So I thought that I would do my makeup with you. It's been a while since I have sat down with you guys at my dressing table and talked you through my makeup routine. Obviously tonight is really rather a glamorous occasion. Sorry, my camera just told me that my SD card was full. So done a very, very quick <laughs> delete session on my camera. As I was saying, although I want to create a super glowy natural makeup look, it does does however need to be on for rather a long time as well as photographs so let's do this makeup look together I popped up to Harrods earlier today to collect the dress from my wardrobe HQ they've been very kind and they are dressing me this evening and I also picked up a brand new Charlotte Tilbury magic cream if you guys have been here for a while you'll know that to any clubby base I use one product well I use really rather a few, but in terms of the actual base, it is Charlotte Tilbury's iconic, famous magic cream, and I had run out. So luckily they had stock in Harrods, so I picked up a fresh one. So I have absolutely nothing on my face at the moment. As you can see, I've got a couple of little marks. I've got lots of freckles, which I love. And I do love showing my freckles, but it is so important to have a base that does also have an SPF. Now, if I, oh gosh, I think I went a bit heavy on the old moisturizer. Um, hopefully this is going to soak in. And also, I'm sure you've probably noticed my voice uh, it doesn't sound great. That is partly because I've just had the wildest weekend of my entire life. Mark's birthday barbecue, which if you've seen my last vlog, um, you will know it ended up dancing on the kitchen island, singing Beyonce. And then one of my best friends, hen parties. So it really has been a very busy week. The week before that I was in Glasgow and, you know, life goes on. But anyway, I am feeling a little bit run down if I'm honest. I am straight on the antibiotics because whenever I get run down, my immune system is low and boom, I have a chest infection. So I've uh, had a couple of days feeling really, really rough and I'm all blocked up and it goes straight to my chest. Um, and my nose is so dry and crispy, it is not attractive. But as you can see, that magic cream has just melted into my skin. And although I look a little bit red, mostly because I'm actually massaging my face slightly, thinking, oh, how wonderful it would be <laughs> to just do my skincare routine and put my head on a pillow and go to sleep. But you know, that's not happening tonight. So that has just melted into my skin, leaving it so dewy and glowy. And I promise you, it is the perfect base to a glowy makeup. You can also add a powder and it will create a beautiful matte look. Gosh, I really went in for a dollop there. Anyway, let's move on. Now, you guys know that I am a Charlotte Tilbury fanatic number one fan. And with any single makeup look, 
my base consists of three different foundations. I know that sounds so extra. Bear with me a momento, where are you? There she is, my makeup bag. So this is Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now I have this in for medium. I do always tell you this, it is slightly too dark for me, but they had a worldwide shortage of this product and this was the only color I could get it in. So we're going with it. As you can see, I actually put really rather quite a lot on and I just love the way that it just blends out and is so pretty. I'm actually going to use a small mirror because sometimes <laughs> I do my makeup with you guys in the lens and then at the very end I look at myself and I think, oh my goodness me, how did I not notice that I have like a stripe down my nose or I look like I'm wearing drag makeup. Nothing against drag makeup, it just was not the look we were going for. <laughs> so if I'm looking this way, I have got a little mirror. And as you can see, with just a tiny little dab or swipe or blend with a brush, that product just melts into the skin, leaving just a tiny, tiny bit of coverage, but the most stunning glow. This is what I wear on a daily basis. I don't tend to wear foundation that often, and especially if I'm having a good skin period. <laughs> so AKA no pimples, which is not that often if I'm honest with you. Stress levels are high at the moment. And I've also just had my time of month, probably a bit TMI. Sorry if that offended you. Um, and as a lady around that time of month, my skin loves to say, hey. <laughs> but anyway, my skin is not looking too bad at the moment. So I have literally just been wearing the Hollywood Flawless Filter, especially during the summer when you've got that gorgeous sort of summer bronzed golden glow. This will be your bestie. I will link everything down below. So definitely go and take a look and um, I will try and add as many discount codes as possible. Right. That is all blended in. Now, as I said, tonight we're going for a slightly heavier look because it is a black tie opera. And I do want to look like I've made an effort. So I'm going to go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Foundation. As you can see, I've had this for so long. Now, literally a tiny, tiny bit goes a long way. So this product will probably last me a year maybe even more so. So I take a tiny little pea amount, dot it between two fingers, and I pop it on the apples of my cheeks, down my nose, and anywhere really that I want to touch more coverage. And then the rest of it, you know, just go a little bit everywhere. Or just get a tissue, which I should really do, and wipe it off. Okay, same brush, because I don't like to complicate things. This is Rose Inks number three brush. It's actually slightly um, slanted or curved, which means that you can get into those nooks and crannies. There we go, and I just use the brush to blend it out. And obviously take a mirror, <laughs> take a mirror and just look really, really closely. And also another thing, I would highly suggest to take your mirror to a window and try to do your makeup in daylight. Trust me, it makes a massive difference um, because I am guilty for doing my makeup in my bathroom and using the lights by the mirror. And then when I come to look at it in daylight, it looks completely different. So I should do as I say, not as I do. Right, I'm looking somewhat a little bit like a ghost now, because that again is slightly too light now that I have a slight summer glow. Who else is loving this weather at the moment? If you aren't in the UK, uh, we have currently had the most beautiful week of wall to wall sunshine and I am here for it. This evening is meant to be like 21, 22 degrees and the opera at Garsington is actually in an outdoor amphitheatre. Really is such a special place and I'm so excited to take you guys with me. It is such an experience. I normally bawl my eyes out. I adore the opera. Every single hair on my body will be standing up. It is so, so beautiful. Right, that is the foundation all blended in. That is probably my husband saying to me, hurry up. Okay, no, it's not. It's work. 
as per usual. Right, that is that all blended in. I do have um, some eye bags going on. Um, again, I'm run down, I'm tired, and life is crazy at the moment. I wouldn't have it any other way. I adore my job. And I always say that I am so fortunate and so lucky to wake up in the morning and love what I do. So I'm not complaining, but you know, I would like to feel slightly better than I currently do. But I'm on a wonderful concoction of antibiotics and day and night nurse. So fingers crossed these bags will, uh, you know, off <laughs> soon. <laughs> right, and that was, sorry, I'm chatting away and I didn't tell you. This is a banana low lighter. It is Rodial's cult cult product it's all about being lit from within and i'm here for it it's absolutely amazing as you can see i just dab a tiny bit on the inner parts of my eyes and then place it going upwards just to create a lifting effect it's also such a beautiful color that really really it draws light gosh do you know what, you're going on silent. Sorry, my phone is on silent. As I was saying, I place it coming up the eye, just creating a lifting effect. And I use my finger, and with the warmth of our fingers, it just melts the product into the face and into the skin and really blends it with that foundation that we just popped on. Gosh, I look like such an egghead. <laughs> no one screenshot me. I know I look utterly barbaric. Okay, right, I would say that that is the base done. We're now going to bronze this up. Now, so many of you guys ask me about my contour. How I contour, what products I use, what brushes I use. Um, you're scared of contouring and all I can say is that I was terrified of it too until I found Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Contour Wand. This is my Desert Island product. Now this is Charlotte Tilbury's Contour Wand and I have it in the fair medium. If you do have a similar skin tone to myself, so slightly fair skinned, um, I would highly recommend the fair to medium. It is quite dark, although it blends so well. So, I pull a funny face. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm, over there, over the top of your forehead, and then down the nose. Now I like to create quite a narrow nose look because I'm always fear that my nose is enormous. I know a lot of you probably will say, no you don't, don't be so ridiculous, but we all have that one thing that we are rather self-conscious about and that is my nose but using charlotte tilbury's hollywood contour wand helps me create that really sort of narrow and defined nose look i now have the i think this is their hollywood complexion brush but it's so old and so used i can't see the label but i will find it on the website and place it below it's really handy because you have two different ends so i use the bigger end mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. And actually just using almost like dabbing motions upwards I blend the product in and look that is done that side that is as easy as that mm -mm -mm. and you want to blend it into the hairline making sure that there are no harsh lines. Now, although these look slightly harsh now, we are going to bronze it up with a powder and then it's going to look beautifully blended all together. Then in little circular motions, we are going to do the forehead. And again, just make sure that you blend this into your hairline. You don't want to have sort of like a bit of a gap. Um, and that just works perfectly into the hairline. I do have really rather a lot of hair. My mother always used to call me a tennis ball. Because I am so fair haired, I'm actually extremely hairy. <laughs> Please do not take that out of context. So if you look here, I've got like almost like peach fuzz and it comes all the way across here. These parts literally attach to my eyebrows. And so my mother always used to call me her tennis ball. 
charming. Anyway, so just make sure that it's blended into all of those little baby hairs. And then the nose. The most important part, well for me anyway, I use up and downward motions. You want to draw two lines down the sides of your nose and then a little V at the bottom. And then you want to just blend it in and take the brush into the eyebrow. So just doing those motions and make sure that you keep the central part of your nose clean. Don't get any of the bronzer onto the central part, otherwise you'll look like you have a wonky nose. Right, and that is my nose contour done. So that is our contour done. I'm now going to take a little brush. Now this is Charlotte Tilbury's sculpting brush, along with the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And this is just such a gorgeous colored bronzer. As you can see, I'm a huge fan. And I just go over where I've just been with the liquid bronzer. Mm-hmm. And this we can go underneath the jawline. Make sure you come this side. We don't want to have any harsh lines at all. I used to pop the bronzer underneath my jawbone. And when I was younger, we all talk about makeup trends when we were teenagers. Honestly, it was tragic. And I always used to think that it looked so good. And my mother used to come to me. I used to be devastated. She used to take her thumb and she used to say, you have a thick line on my jawbone. And she used to smudge it off. And I was like, oh, I just spent hours creating the most horrific makeup look and you've ruined it. Yeah, honestly, I'm so thankful now that my mother saved me in that scenario. So, I want to ensure that that doesn't happen. So make sure to use a powder bronzer and just blend it out, creating a really gorgeous, natural, but bronzed look. And that is what I do. I do also love to use this bronzer because I think it creates a real tonal look um, on my eyelids. I also do, and I am really guilty of it, I know. I probably over contour my nose slightly, but it's personal preference. Where is this little brush? I have my makeup bag here. Please excuse me, I've been on the road all day today. So I literally just chuck everything into my makeup bag and then they try to hide. Where are you? Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna take a blending brush and this is Hourglasses number four. A blending brush looks a little bit like this. And I'm gonna go in with the same bronzer and I'm going to work it into the crease of my eyelid and then just above it slightly. We don't want to take it down ever, we want to take it up. So you do this and then you take it into the eyebrow and then I'm just going to use a tiny bit and just go over the nose contour slightly. I'm just going to do both eyes quickly. My little technique is to use lots of different products, but tiny amounts of them. So we've gone with the moisturizer, we've gone with the flawless filter, we've got a little bit of foundation on, we've got a liquid contour, we've got powder bronzer. Oh my goodness me, so many products. But as you can see, I use just such a tiny amount of them and it creates the most beautiful, natural, youthful, glowy look. I never, ever, ever want to look as though I'm caked in makeup. It, it's, it suits a lot of people and they look stunning. It just does not suit me whatsoever. And as it is really rather warm at the moment, and I'm sure I will get quite hot, I don't want to look cakey, if you know what I mean. Anyway, as you can see, I've just placed that just down each side of my nose. And later on, we're gonna set it and it will blend out slightly. So I won't look like I have little stripes down my nose. For blusher, I have a favourite. 
and I don't tend to veer off from my favorites because once you have a routine that works and that you love, why change it up? I do love to try lots of different makeup products and rarely do I change my makeup routine. However, if I fall in love with something, yeah, I introduce it into my makeup routine. Anyway, this has not changed for years. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Cheek to Chic uh, blusher. I'm using a big fat blusher brush of which is hiding. Where are you? Hmm. Oh, there she is. She's on the floor. Okay, so using a big blush brush and a huge smile. <laughs> Grin like a Cheshire cat. I don't know why I'm looking in that mirror because, it, because it's extremely grubby and I cannot see what I'm doing. So I make a big Cheshire cat smile and I work the blusher from the apples of my cheeks and upwards all the way up to my temple. And it creates a really, really natural, almost sort of like rather flushed look, which I think is really beautiful. You want to look as though you're just slightly rosy, as though you are blushing. We're gonna do the other side. And this color just blends into that bronzer so beautifully. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Now, that is my blusher done. In terms of eyebrows, Oh, talk about new products. So when I was in Mallorca, Izzy, the incredible makeup artist, if you have not seen my Mallorca vlog, please go and take a look at it because Izzy is so talented and I am obsessed and forever trying to recreate that makeup look. However, I'm just not that talented. So she told me about this brow product. This is called Lash Brow. My glow do, oh, it's, it's Polish, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. I'll need to ask Claudia how to pronounce this. Um, however, it is brow soap, and it creates a really, really bushy, there's absolutely no color to it whatsoever. You need a spoolie. Spoolie, spoolie, spoolie. Where are you? Here she is, my little spoolie. You also just need to make sure that your spoolie is always clean, otherwise, um, it goes a little bit flaky, which is not so nice. Um, and then you, you just sort of squidge it, definitely not the right word, into the soap, take a mirror, and then you just brush it, hopefully you can see what I'm doing, into the brows. Sorry, I had to delete another load of stuff, but you guys have already seen those vlogs, so I can delete that content. As I was saying, take a spoolie, work the product into the brows, I brush mine upwards, and trust me when I say that your eyebrows do not budge. And I just love that sort of quite wolfy, not laminated, but sort of veneer laminated look. I don't like them looking sort of like stilty as such. Um, however, I think it's just such a gorgeous product and I don't really like to overcomplicate my eyebrows. They are slightly darker than my hair color and I just think, this is such a fab product. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are my eyebrows done. Done, done, done. Right, I'm panicking because it is 10 past four and we are leaving in 15 minutes. So I'm going to have to rush through this last little bit. The dress that I'm wearing is like this beautiful pale green turquoise colored dress. And I do think that this beautiful copper will make my eyes pop. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of this on and it is Laura Mercier's Terracotta. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows. I don't wear it that often because as you can see, it is quite extra, but we're going extra this evening. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pop a tiny bit of this on again, a little blending buffer brush, a different blusher brush, a buffer brush to the one that we use for the contour because I don't like to mix. Otherwise, tomorrow when I'm trying to do my nose contour, I'll end up with brown sparkly stuff down my nose. Not ideal. As you can see, the sort of brown coppery tones, if you have blue eyes, will pop the colour we go. <laughs> and there we go. I am also going to add my favorite highlighter to the centers of my eyes. I've spoken to you before about this. 
This is NARS's Orgasm Highlighter. Always have a giggle. <laughs> so naughty with their names um, and it just draws just a tiny bit of light almost like a little bit of a halo effect to the center of the eye and I'm also going to take a little brush and I'm going to place a touch of it at the tip of my nose my cupid's bow and the very high points of my cheekbones And that is my highlighter, all done and dusted. I could even just pop a touch underneath that eyebrow bone so that when the light hits it this evening, it's gonna go boom. It's gonna say wow. <laughs> Honestly, I could chat to you guys all day long, but we have, you know, we're, 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 about, we're about 13 minutes, so. In terms of mascara, I have actually changed my mascara, which is really quite something for me. I have moved over, still Charlotte Tilbury, she says, oh, it's also on the floor. What am I doing at the moment? Just throwing all my products on the floor. So this is Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes Volume 2. I love the mascara. I hate it when it's new because there is just far too much product on the brush and then you end up getting such clumpy lashes which is not a vibe for me. It's not something I enjoy. I like having quite a fluttery, delicate lash look. I like them to look full but just not clumpy whatsoever so I'm just going to spend a bit of time time that I do not have just taking some of that product off and making a right mess of the top of the mascara and then I'm going to if I had another spoolie I would do it with a spoolie that's how much I hate having too much product on my brush looking down because you never want to get the mascara on the top part of your um, eyelids because we've just done the eyeshadow together and I blink oh she's getting clumpy oh gosh I can hear the grandfather clock pinging in the background telling me that it's time to go Okay, I think you can just see there how exceptional this mascara is. It is so beautiful. It's bushy, it's fluttery. Okay, that's a bit too much product on that part there. I'm gonna take that bit off. And it's just finding a makeup look that you love and that you can get used to, that you can repeat. And you know, sometimes you've got to experiment. So on those evenings where you have a little bit of time, I certainly wouldn't experiment if you're going out or going to a big event. I have done that before and gone out looking like Amy Winehouse. <laughs> Me, looking like Amy Winehouse. It was not a good look. And no, I'm not showing you photographs. <laughs> right, that is the mascara all done. I'm gonna go with my classic Leonora lip because I love it and I don't have too much time to play around with other stuff. So, where are you? She's here. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Super Size Me. This is the lip liner that I wear all day, every day. It's slightly darker than my natural lip line. What I do like to do is take a little tissue. I feel like I'm talking at 100 miles an hour, of which I probably am because I don't have that much time and my husband is going to be screaming at me imminently saying are you ready and the answer is always no <laughs> so take a lip liner and then draw on your lip I do like to slightly overline my lips however I'm going to keep them shut so I can finish it quickly okay that is my lips done with the lip liner. And then I'm just gonna put a really classic, pretty gloss over the top. Now this is Charlotte Tilbury's Collagen Lip Bath, I believe. And this is in Refresh Rose. And it's just a really, really, almost clear, slightly pinky lip gloss. It's not sticky, it's so soft. It's honestly like, 
mm, rubbing a velvet onto my lips and it's also super nourishing considering that I'm constantly blowing my nose at the moment and my lips are so sore. And very, very lastly, I'm going to put a tiny bit of powder. Now this was, <laughs> it's just broken. I've literally just opened it into my makeup bag and the whole thing is cracked. This was my mini little tiny airbrush flawless powder that I put into my little handbags and it has finally <laughs> died. Um, yeah, it's just cracked all over my lap, all into my makeup bag. Great. Anyway, I'm going to just set that makeup slightly under my eyes onto my cheeks, down my nose, just to make sure that that nose contour is blended properly. On the T-sections, just to make sure that I'm not looking sweaty or too shiny. Here we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my makeup for the opera done. I am going to quickly pop a touch of deodorant on, you know, all the things that uh, happen behind the scenes. I need to quickly pop for a tinkle and then I'm going to show you the dress. We're going to put it on very quickly, we're going to put the shoes, the bag, and then we are off to Garsington to watch the most breathtaking opera. Okay, I have very, very quickly thrown the dress on, but this is the stunning Erden dress that I am wearing this evening. I'm going to ask Marcus to spin the camera around and show you because this is just not doing it justice. As you can see, it is the most beautiful colour. It is fully sequined. I'm going to show you which bag I chose, which jewellery and which shoes. However, as you can tell, I'm running out the door like a headless chicken. So I'm going to quickly go and help Marcus pop in his cufflinks, uh, take the hair out, put the shoes on, the bag, get all the makeup in the bag, although the bag's tiny, um, try and calm down and get on our way to our next door neighbours who we are going to the opera with. Just driving up to Ali and Sabine's. We are collecting them and then we are off to Garsington. They have the most beautiful home. I actually did bring you here in, I think one of my Christmas vlogs. They have the most incredible Christmas party every single year. They have the most amazing singers. I think I did show you actually their chapel. It's made out of gold and mirrors. <laughs> I mean, it is very extra, but absolutely beautiful. So we are going as guests of theirs this evening and it's just it's going to be the most magical evening. So this is the view here in the amphitheatre. Look at the lake. It is really rather something spectacular. Just arrived, we're going to get a gorgeous glass of champagne and enjoy the sunshine. here with us tonight to celebrate the opening night of the 2023 season. And I have to say, from here, you do look rather wonderful in your Mediterranean colors. <laughs>
We are just walking across the lawn to go for dinner. It is the interval. Oh, I must say, I'm really rather peckish. The opera has just finished. We are now taking a walk over to the house where we will meet the cast of the opera. Look at the lighting. Outdoor lighting on these trees is just magnificent. Look at that view. Gosh, what an exceptional evening.